This is TJ. In this video, I want to quickly show you five websites that I like to use when I'm looking for free music and royalty-free music and audio uh, to use in my creative projects. So the websites I want to show you are freemusicarchive.org, soundcloud.com, and competech.com, audionautics.com, and gemendo.com. So I'll go through each one of these and show you. I'll download a, an audio file from each one, show you kind of how to check out the licensing and make sure that you can use it for personal or commercial use or whatever you want to do. Um, this first one, freemusicarchive.org, is really cool. You can search by genre. You've got classical, country, folk, instrumental, hip-hop, all kinds of stuff. Um, you, can, you can participate. You can upload your own music if you want to. This is made up of people all over the world just creating music and sharing it with other people. Um, well, I like to use the search bar up here. If I just go to search rock, um, then over here on the left-hand side, it lets me modify my search. So I can search for things that are only public domain or public domain and allow... Uh, and or allow for commercial use. So that's what I usually do is select those two and that does the attribution only license, the share alike license, and the no derivatives license. If you're not sure about the Creative Commons licensing, check out some of my other videos um, or do some uh, reading about it um, and learn about Creative Commons, but there's a, a few different licenses. Anyway, we'll do this first one here, Rakcha. So I could have played the result there, each result. But I'll just play it here and listen to it. One, two, three, four. Okay, so cool. It's a nice little uh, song. It's by uh, Apache Tomcat. It's called Rock Cha. So I would copy both of those because I need to provide attribution. Here's the license over here. Creative Commons symbol. Sh um, share alike, which means all the work that I create using this or with the work I create using this has to also have a Creative Commons license. And um, attribution is that symbol there. So it means I have to provide attribution to the author and the name of, or the artist and the name of the song. Um, yeah, so that's how the licensing works. I can just click here and download it right now. Don't need to be logged in. Don't need to provide an email address or anything like that. And now I've got this audio file. Three, cool. So I can use that. I'll provide attribution. I can use that. Uh, uh, in, I'll use it in this video. I'm using it right now. So I'll provide attribution in the description of this YouTube video so you can see that. Um, this next one here, SoundCloud.com. Probably familiar with SoundCloud. Um, so if I just search rock. I'll get all kinds of rock songs. Most of these are ones I have to pay for. I mean, I can listen to them for free. I can also buy the track. But if I click on tracks, and then if I go down to to listen to and click on it, I can say, instead of just songs to listen to for free, I can actually find ones that I can modify and use commercially. So I'll click on this to modify commercially. That means they probably have an, an open license. So I'll click on I can play this one. Uh, all right, that sounds pretty good. So I will open this one up, and oh, it says I can buy it here, but I wanna I wanna download. I think I can just download this. One thing is you have to be logged in. So um, let me log in real quick and see if I can download this. I'll click uh, sign in. Okay, so I just signed in, and for some reason, this one it says it's Creative Commons license, but uh, it's not letting me download it. Oh, that's why. Download link. Uh, it's in the description box of this YouTube video. So that's how I would get to that. I have to go to YouTube, find the download link. If I go back to this other one here, um, we'll do, oh yeah, we'll do this one here. So this is, uh, we'll play it, listen to it. Very cool. So it's by Kill the Noise. This is the name of the track here. Um, and then I, so I would just copy both of those for attribution, but I can click download right now because I'm logged in. And uh, there we go. So I'm downloading this file, MP3, and I can open it and listen to it. Nice. All right. So that's SoundCloud, and that's how you that, how you would find them, just like that way I did. Remember, click on tracks, go down to modify commercially. If unless you have that Creative Commons license, like this one had right here, unless it says Creative Commons license, um, you can't use it. Um, but but if it is licensed under that, then you can. So just make sure you check on that, especially on SoundCloud. This next one, Incompetech.com, is really cool. Um, this is just one guy. Um, I forget his name. Click on uh, free, Royalty Free Music to get to the music part. Kevin McLe Mc McLeod, that's his name, I think. So I can do a full search. I can view different collections. But if I want to do a search for, like, blues, and I want it to be bright, and then I go search... 
it finds me some blues bright songs I can play and listen to them it's kind of a quieter one all right cool so let's do this carefree one so I can just click download and there it goes and then I would just need to provide attribution so um, I'll click on more information here. So it tells me all about it. License this piece. So I could uh, see the license page. Da -da 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 -da. Creative Commons Attribution 3.0. Kevin McLeod, and the song is called Carefree. So I would just include that in the description of my video or in the credits or wherever I'm using this. So, um, great, great site for downloading free music. Um, this next one, audionautics.com. Also, you can search by genre. So if I want to do uh, hard rock, Find music. I could have selected a tempo there too. Has always different ones. So how about modern rock boy? We'll go listen now. And All right, cool. Download MP3. Oh, click back. Sometimes with these links, you have to right click and go save link as, and then I will uh, save that under my music folder. So here we go. So now I'm downloading. Um, yeah, and then if I want to find out some information about the licensing for this, uh, well, first of all, it says no fees, no copyright, no hassle, incredibly free. Um, but I will go to about, and I can read about the uh, the different licensing here on his site um, for this music. So it's a pretty cool site, audionautics.com, and now I've got the file downloaded here. I can open it, listen to it, use it. Um, this last one, gemendo.com, I'll just click here later. You don't have to connect and sign in even though it, uh, but you can if you want to share and, you know, do that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm just going to search up here. We'll go rock just since we're doing stuff like that. It finds some different results down here. And so it says, uh, I want to do advanced search. So I will go to advanced search and I will say uh, Creative Commons licenses. I want um, attribution only licenses and I want it to be rock. So then I'll search. <clears throat> now it will find just ones that have the attribution only license. Did it do the search? I think it did. We'll open up a track and see. So we can listen to it. Oops. Whoa, stop, stop. <laughs> Where is it playing at? Alright, I can download it. So when I go to download it, uh, it says you can copy, distribute, advertise, and play this track as long as you give credit to the original artist, you don't use it for commercial purposes, and you distribute the derivatives under the same license. So I'm looking for something I can use for commercial purposes, just since that's the most free and open license. Um, a lot of times you, you don't necessarily have to have that though. But so it didn't do my search correctly, so I'll do attribution search here, and uh, we've got to find something that does have that license. So this one, we'll click download, and it'll tell us about the uh, licensing. So here we go. This is a good one. I mean, they're all good. I shouldn't say that, but this is one that that does not require that, that you can use for commercial purposes. So I can just click free download. And away it goes. I don't need to do a uh, login or anything like that. I can listen to it. I didn't even listen to this one before I downloaded it. Oh, here's where it's playing at the bottom of the screen. Cool. So now I have that file. Um, and as long as I provide attribution to Satori Rock, um, and that's the name of the song, then I, I can use this in my work. So there you go. You've got... Uh, those sites that I've just showed you. Hopefully you found this video informative. Check out some more of my videos here on YouTube at TJ Free, my channel, or my website, tjfree.com, uh, for more information about free software, free resources, free media. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.